We saw them give up power play goals to Coastal Carolina last week. That one coming forward and it's in. Charlotte's on the board first by way of Philip Arnold. One of their leading goal scorers, his seventh of the year. And just like that, they take the lead. Speaking of power play goals, it didn't take long, but it was a couple quick passes in and out of the defense. And there's nothing Jake Pesh can do. It's a wide open shot from the slot. A little bit of a defensive breakdown. We'll take a look at it here. There's the pass to the middle. There's the shot. Pesh can do nothing about it. Arnold got some help there from his man Ryan Burke. Notches his fifth assist. And now moving in, four flames in the vicinity, a breakaway, almost a shot there. A nice pad saved by Pesh, and he is able to be aware and right next to the puck. Chase Reardon almost had a look at it. Back to the point there, a shot off balance, trying to be batted down near the net. Pesh, that one goes in. Goal number two for the UNC Charlotte 49ers, Michael Ree. His fourth of the year. A little bit of an odd bounce there in front. Just tried to be knocked down. He got it down and he kind of slid it over. Jake Pesh had no idea where the puck was at. Reese slides it into the back of the net. We'll take a look at it here. There's the odd bounce. Throws it across. Nobody's the home. Wide open. Nothing Jake Pesh can do. Again, Jake Pesh has been kind of hung out to dry a little bit early so far today. He's been hung out to, to dry twice, excuse me. And now it's two to nothing. If I'm the Liberty defense, what do you got to do? You know, get McDaniel takes a shot there. And that one close, but Balzano able to keep it down. There's Zach Mitchell, the right side, stop, second chance, it's in. Good. Liberty Flames step up there. A nice one by Zach Mitchell is retrieved on the second look by Dylan Brown, I believe. Could Jeremy be Martin. Jeremy Martin. Cade McDaniel rushed puck down the ice. Good things come to those who crash the net. Great job, Jeremy Martin. Jeremy Martin goes hard to the net. He gets the bounce, is sitting right out in front. Nobody's home. Jeremy Martin pounds it into the back of the net. It's two to one. Have you trademarked that yet? You like to say that a lot. Oh yeah. Good, things, things, come. good things come to those who throw the puck at the That's net. Yours. That's yours. Favorite phrase. That's yeah. a Calebism. I love it. Now the Flames are up on the power play. Evangelista takes it for the Flames. This one towards the net. Palzano boards it, and it's a goal. It's in there. They do capitalize on it, and the score is even. Heck of an effort by Jonathan Clackering to find that loose puck in front. Not once, not twice, but three times. He pounds at it, ends up in the back of the net. I'm not sure if Chase Evangelista was the last one to poke at it or if it was Jonathan Clackering. Nonetheless, traffic in front proves to be the name of the game again for the Flames. 2-2, two two. we'll take a look at it here. Yeah, we'll have a second look of Evangelista. Um, Might have been Clackering on that one. Looks like Jonathan Clackering will get that one in and on put the, another goal on the board for him. On the third effort. And now the forecheck being brought by Charlotte. Here come the 49ers. Shane Clapper goes through one man, takes a shot, takes another one in front of Pesh. That one gets through. Shane Clapper's speed leads to goal number three for the Charlotte 49ers, and it goes to Michael Ree. Shane Clapper made an unbelievable filthy move here as he came into the zone in the circle. He drove wide, he threw it back on goal. It kind of hit Jake Pesh in an awkward, you know, awkward area, and it kind of trickled back behind him where Ree was able to find it, put it in the back of the net. Shane Clapper had that tailing speed that could really throw the defense off and go right through him. Take Jake a look Pesh. at it here. There's that shot from behind the net, squirts out in front. Right through the legs. Ree just smacks at it, puts it five hole. Goal number two for Michael Ree on the evening. Has five total on the year. They have a couple of guys from New York, a couple from New Jersey, so you bring all them down here and, and bring their talents down to Charlotte. That's what they've done to assemble their team, a shot! And it's in there, they extend their lead with that one. As the puck goes over to the center and able to capitalize on that is Philip Arnold. We've said it all night, where in the world is the defense from the Liberty Flames? Kind of is a great pass coming from behind the net. Philip Arnold collects the puck in the slot, nobody's home, and he buries five hole on Jake Pesh. See, there's no defense in between Philip Arnold and the goal. Nobody there to even come close to slowing him down. It's just easy pickings at that point. Puts a move on him, but gets it right through the one-man defense. Instead, Huntington's going to try to take it, falls off his horse. Brought forward, Matt Graham. Still in Liberty's zone, finds its way into the net. 
Another one on the board for UNC Charlotte. It's Thomas Gilmartin. Kind of an odd shot from the half boards. Threw it on goal. Jacob Pesha had no idea where it was at. It slid underneath his pads. And now it's 5-2. to two. Take another look at it here. Fifth goal of the year for Gilmartin. Also finds himself with an assist on the day. There's that goal. Thomas Gilmartin catches the puck out of midair. The half boards. Throws it on goal. Oh, Pesh right doesn't see legs. it coming. And now Liberty trying to move it quickly. Trying to bring it forward, loses control of the puck. Backers at the pointy rim, says shot, that one too high. Will go off to the near side, he'll collect it himself. We'll bring it forward again, Evangelista on the second look. Trying to get it in, and he does! Jonathan Clappering found the rebound in front, pulled it to the backhand, put it far side where Balzano couldn't reach it. Balzano lost track of the puck after the first two attempts by Chase Evangelista. That's just a matter of dirty, gritty hockey, throwing the puck to the front of the goal. That's exactly what you want to do to wear him down. Second goal of the day for Jonathan Clackering. And we'll see it again. Evangelista can't grab a hold of it after his second attempt. Clackering finds it. Forehand, backhand, Backhand's back of the in. net. That's what he loves to do. So it's hit back. And Liberty finds themselves defending in their own zone once again. Trying to move it forward. Creating a tussle is Gil Martin. Going back and forth forward. Martin and... Arnold and Gilmartin, rather, are next to it. They have a man up front. Pash looking for the puck, can't find it. It's in front of him. That one stopped before Arnold, he gets it in. A hat trick for Tom Arnold, or excuse me, Philip Arnold. A lack of urgency for this Liberty Flames team has been the story all night. Once again, the puck sat in front of the net for what felt like an eternity. Scores to Phil Arnold. Phil Arnold on his second attempt, he waved, whiffed at it the first time. Second time, he's going to put a top shelf. Jake Pesh all sprawled out. Nothing he can do about it. And he was just sitting there waiting for it. Pesh was preoccupied. You had the first shot there by Miller, and then it moved right over in the vicinity of Arnold, and it was too easy. Excuse me. Yeah, it was Miller who whiffed on the first shot. Looks like Rhett McGiven will call a timeout. And taken by Matt Fawcett. He loses control. It goes back to Brady, who hits it over to Huntington. Huntington hits it forward. Clack ring. Tracking it, showing Chase. And the second look there. Bryce Myers gets it in. It's a goal for the Liberty Flames. And there was an empty net there. He should have gotten that one in, and he did. Kind of an unfortunate bounce for the UNC Charlotte 49ers. It goes off the stanchion, comes out right in front. Mitchell whiffs on the first opportunity. Myers is there to put it in the empty cage behind him. We'll take a look at it here. There's the odd bounce. Mitchell. So close Can't get for it Mitchell. In. And then Myers finishes it off. Six to four, four minutes to go. It's not over if Liberty gets their button gear right here. Well, that speech by Rep McGibbon. He's hoping that it put a fire under him. They've got four minutes to score two goals. Each penalty box is still filled with a couple from each team as they're still killing off those majors. Shot coming towards. One last pad save there as it's hit out. And this one's in the books. UNC Charlotte takes game one of the weekend series by a score of six to four. The majority of the scoring coming, or really, I should say, the forefront of what became a successful offensive campaign coming in the first period. We were silent in the second. And then UNC Charlotte matched their total from the first period, put three up in the third, including a pair by Philip Arnold, and I think if we had to pick, he'd be our player of the game. He would absolutely hat trick tonight. Philip Arnold was in the right place at the right time. Often tonight, he was there to bury a couple loose pucks, a couple bad bounces for the Flames, and uh, a big night for Phil Arnold and the UNC Charlotte 49ers. For Liberty, goals from Martin, a pair from Clackering, and then inside five minutes, Bryce Myers tried to recalibrate the Flames' offense, but take, unfortunately fell short. Take a look at some highlights here. There's Phil Arnold's first goal. Flames really had a hard time getting the puck out of the zone right there. That's a perfect example of it. There's one that was just thrown in from the half boards. There's Clackering's goal late to make it 6-3. to three, Or make it 5-3, to three, excuse me. This one made it 6-3. to three. Phil Arnold pulled off the hat trick. Well, there you have it. Led by Phil Arnold. 6-4, to four, the final score for Caleb Fitzpatrick. I'm Joe Mixie. We'll leave you with this one. Have a good evening.